It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Plenty of excitement as we count down to tip off here on 2K Sports. A little New Year's Eve hoops. This is very, very good. When's festive. the countdown begin? Five, four, three, three two, two one. Happy New Year! Year! Yeah. Okay. Tonight, we'll be watching the Houston Rockets playing against the Memphis Grizzlies. Looking at the Grizzlies, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Celtics. A crushing defeat in that one. Still with a sour taste in their mouths, they're looking to play much better. And a guy we'll be watching tonight, Jay Crowder, impacts the game in a number of ways. Shaq, would you call him underrated? Very underrated, but more people know about him now. Maybe not a household name, but that's because he focuses on the little things. Yep. He's a tone setter, you know, defensively. He can get you eight a game easily, no problem. Plays to his strengths. And sometimes, when you can get eight, that's better than getting none. That was deep. You can get eight right now. You look like a sandwich. <laughs> Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports for the NBA. We're all dressed up and ready to go. Joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. And with us tonight, the author of the 700-page book of basketball, a must-read, Bill Simmons. It's great to be here, and everyone wants me to rewrite that book, but I just, I don't have it in me. So much has changed in basketball over the last nine years. I got to redo my Hall of Fame pyramid. But I, I just, I can't sit down and do it, Kevin. I think it's going to last. How long did it take you to write that book? It was three years of my life, and I was younger. Now, it just it would just be coffee all day, <laughs> trying, trying to stay awake for it. But a New York Times bestseller for multiple it weeks. Was. It was. number one. Right, yeah, exactly. it was Absolutely. great. And it taught me that I knew people love basketball, and I think we've seen this decade as basketball has just blossomed into something much bigger than I think it's ever been. Uh, I can tell with the book. People liked it. A battle in the Western Conference. This Houston crowd hoping to watch their Rockets come out on top. They traveled to Memphis last time they faced the Grizzlies and came away with a win. Yeah, really ratcheted up the pressure in their last matchup, getting steals and just creating havoc defensively. Their D was just phenomenal in the last game. We'll see if they bring that same intensity again. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Thank you, Kevin. Well, we know Rockets coach Mike D'Antoni was the architect of the seven seconds or less offense in Phoenix, but he says we should have been more aggressive. We kept asking, is it too many threes? Now, there's no such thing. Kevin? Great stuff, D.A., thanks. Even before Dwight Howard, Bill, left the Rockets, Clint Capella became the clear heir apparent, it seemed, at that center position for Houston. Great pick. I think they took him 25th in that draft. That's about as well as you can do. That's my hope for the Celtics with Rob Williams. Mm -hmm. They took him 27th, and you just hope he's this guy above the rim, shot blocker, athlete, and kind of teach him to do everything else. Mm -hmm. gentlemen ready so the Rockets win the tip and the starting group for the Grizzlies Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Jackson then it's Brooks then it's Jones and it's Jackson in at the small forward Harden can't hit and it's Jones with the ball for the Grizzlies. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. You know, their focus wasn't there in that one. Same with the shot selection. I've seen worse shooting nights, but this was pretty bad, and it obviously cost them the game. Houston moving it around. Stolen by Jackson. Here's Valanciunas, banked in off the glass. Alan Shooters has got the opening bucket of the night here for Memphis. He usually shoots a high percentage in the paint, 
And on that play, Valentunas got it done. We're about one minute into the first. It's Harden with the drive. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. Well, this is where he shows both skill and body control along with the attack mindset. Now here's Brooks. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Here's Valanciunas, and he uses the glass on the layup. I like the aggression of Valanciunas there to put it on the floor and create his own shot. Brooks against Harden. Beyond the arc. And the three ball is good. Harden's got five. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Jackson. He's coming off a 19-point game against Boston. And you know, another way he impacted the game was forcing turnovers. Really disrupted the offensive flow. And Westbrook gets it to go on the assist by Harden. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Bill, we've seen the NBA take steps to amend the draft lottery. Any further changes that you might uh, recommend? The biggest thing I would do is I just don't think you should be able to finish in the top three two years in a row. I think there has to be some sort of schmuck insurance for the rest of the <laughs> league. <laughs> I just... I'm fine rewarding the one bad season, but when you're just continuously bad, the year that Cleveland, when they won the lottery three out of four years, I just thought that was a travesty. It just didn't feel right, did No, it? it's just wrong. There's mm -hmm. 30 teams in the mm -hmm. league, and you have a team that really blows the LeBron James era and just surrounds him with the wrong people, and he leaves, and then really can't stay out of its way for the next couple of years, and they just keep getting the number one pick. I don't agree with that. I think that's bad. I also thought it was bad that Philly was able to get number three and number one in back-to-back -back years. And it's bad that the Celtics were able to get the third pick and then the first pick. So I, that would be the one thing I would do. I, I don't think it should... I don't think you should be able to successfully fail for multiple years. Here's Westbrook after the made shot from Jonas Valanciunas. Westbrook with the bucket. Westbrook's got his second bucket of the night. And it's the fearlessness of Westbrook. It's really refreshing to watch. When he's deep inside, he just goes right at you. Here's Valanciunas. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. I will say this about his shooting stroke. It's pure when he's got it going. Perfect so far this quarter. And there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That's foul number two for him. Tyson Chandler. He's checked in for Houston. Gordon comes in for Green, and Memphis also making a switch. Anderson's checked in. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Jackson down low. He's against Gordon. Offensive rebound. Moves back up. Anderson can't get it to go. Uh-oh. He misses the bunny. I think he thought somebody was coming over to contest it. A shot by Harden. Wide open. No good from outside. For Memphis, they've gone five of nine from the field here in the first. Jackson against Chandler, stolen by Harden, and the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his first foul, and the Rockets making a change here. Edwards has checked in, so Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Miles Plumlee's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Crowder comes in for Jackson. Andre Iguodala, he's checked in for Josh Jackson. And Allen subbed in for Dylan Brooks. Tipped away. Here's Harden. Bill, it's interesting. More than 50 colleges and universities now offer scholarships in esports. I did not know this. And that number is probably only going to go up. Yeah, it, it makes sense, too. What, what, what's more popular, esports or water polo? <laughs> e no offense to the water no, polo no, players, no. but come on. Come on. These let's, kids let's love it. They, they cannot get enough of these games. No. It's a, we should have, every college should have these sports. And a wide open look for Igudawa. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Igudawa has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Outside Gordon. 
And it's out of bounds to the Rockets as Houston retains possession. The grind of the NBA season wears on, but what a pleasure this year is turning out to be. Let's check out the West and see how the standings look. Take a look at the Rockets. They're having a solid season. Fifth in the conference and looking to move up. And, of course, there's the Grizzlies. Seven games back. And seeing where the Rockets are, most of the preseason predictions were right on the money when it came to them. I mean, a playoff contender, but not necessarily championship caliber. I agree. As good as they've been, they do seem like they're missing that true killer instinct that sets the great teams apart from the good ones. Bobbed up there for Chandler. And the turnover again by Houston. Let's take this chance to showcase the top setup man at the small forward position in the NBA. Kyle Anderson, third. The, the, the passes we've seen some of these guys make from the wing, just outstanding, truly gifted distributors. Teams benefit so much from having these guys at the small forward position that can pass. It's like having two point guards on the floor. Now here's Crowder. Pass to Plumlee. And Gordon over to help. 11 feet away. Here's Crowder. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. They get Russell Westbrook. The contributions from Jay Crowder are extremely valuable because of his defense, toughness, and switchability. This is his first chance at the line tonight. free throw no good for the Rockets then McLemore comes in for James Harden and it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook and he sinks the second Bill your long lost cousin Ben Simmons headlined a tremendous rookie class in 2017 and that people might think it's the best rookie season ever in the history of the league a lot of good players. I, Simmons, Mitchell, Tatum. Do we count Simmons in that class, though? I guess. Well, since he won the Rookie of the Year, let's put him in. All there. right, we'll Just put him in there. Technically. I think if you come out of a year of rookies and you get one guy who has a chance to be a franchise guy, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. We had three. If you're doing three a year for ten years, you you have the most ridiculous league of all time. I think the talent ebbs and flows. And we've had stretches. Like, I think last decade, in the 2000s, especially, like, from about 03 to 07, 08, like, we were just short all-stars. They were just, we were just short a few guys. And you saw teams like the Nets with Jason Kidd made the finals two years in a row. And you saw the Ben Wallace Pistons team actually win the title. With and, no superstars. Right. And you saw, you know, in 06, the Pistons... Remember, they, they were on pace to win 70 games mm -hmm. and then four All-Stars? <laughs> the league just wasn't that good, and now it's flipped, and it's so loaded. I, I think from a town standpoint, as good as any year since 1993. Wow, that's a big statement. Yeah, which 25 years ago, we're just loaded with guys who could be Hall of Famers right. someday or, you know, eight-time All-Stars, things like that. So now you look at this 17 class, and Simmons, Mitchell, Tatum, just right there, that's awesome. I still believe in Lonzo. And I still believe in De'Aaron Fox. I think those guys can be all-stars, mm -hmm. too. So it's the Grizzlies now following the score by Houston. Just five on the clock. Plumley, And, oh, boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot, two. It's on Tyson Chandler. The Grizzlies have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. The first free throw is good. is no good got a piece of it only with the steal the dish to Anderson over Gordon and another miss by Memphis Rockets trail by three Rivers in the corner Bill a top advisor for the U.S. High School Athletics and Activities Division recommended that schools adopt esports programs what's your take on that 
I'm all in. It's probably my son's only chance to go to college. So I really, <laughs> I really hope it happens. <laughs> now, listen, the, the, <laughs> the world changes every decade. I know. And you got to change with it. And the reality is eSports is one of the biggest things we have now. And if you're under 15, you're way more likely to play video games than, and be good at that than you are to do anything else. So why wouldn't we be able to benefit from that? The whole esports in general, just the audiences they're getting and as a spectator event, that's been building. So why wouldn't that work for college? Excellent D there from Allen. And so Allen will bring it up for Memphis. Here's Igudala. The shot's good. And just a tremendous display of strength by Iggy. Always a threat to convert, even with the contact. Thinking about how much sports video gaming has changed over the decades, Bill, can you imagine a 13, 14-year-old Bill Simmons with a 2K product? You would just be all over that, wouldn't you? You have no idea, Kevin Harlan. <laughs> I was there for every step of the video game revolution. I had an Intellivision and an Atari. I had Nintendo. I had Super Nintendo. I had all three of the first PlayStations. You played them all the time. I, I, used, I played entire Madden seasons on the treadmill in when I was like in my early 30s. Try playing playing any video game on the, on the treadmill. treadmill. <laughs> try it and try not falling off. It's impossible. I'm so sure it I've is. been there every step of the way. I am pro esports. Uh, basketball, I, I'm jealous of the people who can play 2K well because there's just, that sound like an old guy, but so many buttons I and so it. many things to remember. I'm always so impressed when people I just remember all the combinations and stuff. I'm like, jealous. Like your son, your son does it. My son can plays do it. Again. I, I know. But I could have done it. I want to. I take, know you could. I want to take 1984 <laughs> me out of a time machine and just give me this game. I would have unleashed. Yeah, but 13 year old Bill Simmons would like what 40 year old Bill Simmons is. 13 year old Bill Simmons would be amazed that 48 year old Bill Simmons was getting paid to do anything. He'd really be excited about that. It's just that he wasn't living at home. Would have been. We would have been fired up. Now a timeout called by Memphis. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Memphis trailing here. Inside, stolen by Rivers. And here we go. Fast break. McLemore has got it. And there's the pass to Tucker. Anderson against Edwards. Houston needs to get a shot. Here's Rivers. Off target from three-point range. And you just get the sense the whole period he's been a bit out of sync. Yep, trying to shoot himself back into this. Regain some confidence first. Bill Commissioner Adam Silver believes the 2K Esports League will have the staying power of the NBA, WNBA, the G League. A pretty powerful comment to make. And I hope he's right because I want to be the lead color guy. I want us to be the team. Why can't it be us, Kevin Harlan? Are you kidding me? Let's do that. Cut me the check. Sign As Rasheed Wallace up. would say, CTC, cut the check. <laughs> Bill Simmons is here. I'm ready. <laughs> Memphis has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Allen against Rivers. Allen outside. Kicks it out to Iguodala. It's stolen by McLemore. This is it to Edwards over Anderson. The putback. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. Rivers against Allen. Here's the lob to the hoop. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Rivers against Crowder. Here's McLemore. Chandler up top. Here's Rivers. 
And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Pass to Plumlee. 52 seconds left to play in the first. Right side crowded. To stop the run. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Jay Crowder, not the biggest guy, but he's crafty in the painted area. Knows how to get his shot. Now here's McLemore. He's covered by Iguodala. And here's McLemore. Six to shoot. Back to Rivers. There's the triple. Jay Crowder pulls it in just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Allen for three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And a lot of scoring here early on. This is the type of game the fans love to see. I love it. Really, both teams running plays that fit the personnel going back and forth. And on the defensive side, just a failure to match up. Well, the one thing you want to take away is anything at the rim. Just too easy. Some great action here early as we end the first quarter. Clark in a tie. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. Now a chance to hear shooting guard Eric Gordon talk about their key to winning. It's all about not making mistakes, getting rebounds and getting good stuff to really push the pace up. And I think when we do that, we always are at our best. And Greg, nowadays, it's all about pushing the pace. And it's an offensive-oriented league now. When, when you execute and really look to attack, it puts the opposition on their heels. And we're getting back to the action in our New Year's Eve broadcast. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Hustling on that offensive glass. That's led to a number of second-chance points. A fundamental part of basketball. Taking advantage of guys who fail to block out. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And so in the game for the Rockets. Green is out there with P.J. Tuck. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then it's Harden, and it's Capella in at the center, locking down the middle. Here's Jones. James Harden picking up that last basket. Here's Jackson. Green with the rebound. One could argue that's a good shot, but maybe not the right shooter to take it. Pass to Capella. Houston moving the ball around. Harden can't hit. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. Bill in Houston, if there's one critique of James Harden's game, it's been his defense. But do you think that's changing a bit? We're seeing some evolving in his game. Definitely changing. First of all, he's playing defense now, which has been, been a revelation. Jeff Bezdelic, I think, has really gotten his fingerprints on it. Yeah, good name drop, too, by the way. I like, I, I like that. Yeah, I, you know what changes your defense is being picked apart online mm -hmm. and Twitter gifts and YouTube clips and people on studio shows on big, giant HD screens pointing out that you didn't try on this and that you're a matador and... I think that, that there's been a shaming element of his defense that's, that's actually point. been successful for him. And I, I wish we had had that in the 80s for Dominique Wilkins and some <laughs> of these other guys. Maybe if we had shamed Dominique Wilkins, maybe we would have played better defense. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Houston. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. You know, they're the visiting team. It's a loud arena, very distracting at times. but. Simply no excuse for missing a ton of free throws. You know what? The issue that night, the misses became contagious, and the guys lost more and more confidence as it went along. Houston shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. Two shots.
That's good from Westbrook. Eric Gordon needs checked in for Houston. Russell Westbrook drops him both. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Now here's Jones. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his third foul of the game. And that's his third foul. The chance you take leaving a man with two. Let's see if they'll sit him now until the half. On defense, the Rockets. Jones kicks to Brooks. Shot clock at six. Bill, you've watched the NBA evolve. Talk about some of the biggest changes over the last decade you've seen. The three-point line and, and the threes or foul shots philosophy, I think, is the biggest thing. Just the pace of the game has really improved and in to a really pleasing way for fans. Like just what, what Steve Nash was doing last decade and those Suns teams, that everybody's playing that way now. I think the social media and the, the players basically getting rid of the wall between them and the fans using social media, using Instagram, and we just feel like we know these guys better. And their ability to control their own message now versus where they were 10 years ago. Mm. It all started with the decision of LeBron James and his carry through this whole decade. And these guys now, they can get whatever message out they want. They can criticize the president. They can criticize their own team. They can ask for a trade. Mm -hmm. If they get called out by some writer or somebody who writes a hit piece, they can go back at the guy and sick all their fans on the, on the writer. For Memphis, they've gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Jones against Gordon. Right side, Jones. Jackson in the corner. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Jackson's got seven points in the game. Going back to our topic from a moment ago, Bill, you mentioned the interaction between players and social media and how that's become a new facet, a, a skill we're seeing daily from players. Uh, there's just way more accountability now. And I... I'm really impressed by how polished the guys are that come in the league now. And I, I think the LeBron generation, LeBron, Wade, some of Chris Bosh, some of those guys from the last generation that came up and became vets and really knew how Paul Pierce, who knew how to handle their business. Now these new guys come in, they're 19, 20 years old, and they act like they're 30. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you see it at the games. Shocking. Whereas in the 90s, it was a free-for-all. Mm -hmm. You had these guys who, if you gave them a live <laughs> mic, you were terrified. And now these guys are 19 years old Polished. giving, like, you know, long interviews to reporters. It's, how are you doing this? Tatum in particular is very Tatum's impressive. already good at being a bad interview. He's like, he doesn't, he doesn't say anything. He knows how to dodge any question. It's like, you're 19. How do you know how to do this? Unbelievable. Here's Melton after Clint Capella's bucket. Jackson looking around. Here's Jones outside for Jackson over Gordon. And it's good off the back rim and in. And Jackson isn't bashful about pulling up from the mid-range. He just has a nice-looking stroke from that spot on the floor. Now here is Harden. 14 points for him. Westbrook against Jones. And the dunk by Capella. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. The Grizzlies trail by three. Outside, Jones. Stolen by Gordon. From deep, Harden. And the three ball is good. Harden's got 17 now. Starting to heat up now. He nailed one from behind the arc in the first quarter, two here in the second. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Yeah, he needs to tell his guys to just box out with some energy. That, that's basic basketball. They've been lazy on the backboard and have allowed way too many second-chance points. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Bennett. And the Grizzlies also with the sub. Anderson's checked in. And so it's Memphis with it. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That'll be the first of two straight at home. 
Jones finds Anderson. Outside, Jones. Shot clock at five. Does not score again. That's his fourth miss against one mate. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and sails in for the flush. If you aren't going to at least step in front of him, you can't be surprised when he throws it down like that. Now here's Jones, who's averaging around five and a half points a game. Valanciunas is inside. Capella covered. And Capella sends it back. And now here comes Gordon leading the break. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Jackson with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Will it go? And the dunk by Jackson. And Jackson is a terrific passer at that forward position. Fantastic at setting the table for his guys. Jackson against Harden. The pass to Hartenstein. He kicks to Westbrook. And the shot is long. Lazy defense against a good score. Turns out not to matter. Pass to Jackson. The Rockets pull it in. Cabela's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Tries to save it and out of bounds as Memphis gains possession. While we have a break, we can see which teams have made the most of their second chance opportunities over the last 10 games. The Rockets fourth. I mean, you love their aggressiveness, not settling for one shot offensively, but really running down those loose boards and, and converting for extra points. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Jones with it. Westbrook picks him up. To the middle. It'll go. The Rocket lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Valanciunas. Asserting his will offensively. Valanciunas taking over. Here's Gordon. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And looking now at some numbers for Jackson. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. Averaging about 18 points per, over two and a half blocks, and seven rebounds. So much of what this team does revolves around his offense. He stacks up points. Reason why? Because that's his mindset. He wants to carry the low and clearly is successful at it. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Tyson Chandler. He's checked in for Hartenstein. McLemore has come in for James Harden. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. All three throws good from Eric Gordon. This is where he feels 100% comfortable taking all the free points he can get. Anderson against Gordon. It's Anderson with the drive. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And a moment now to look at the numbers for Valanciunas. The past month has been surreal. Sixth in blocks. And he's among the top 15 in rebounding. Just a powerful presence in the paint. And his ability to patrol the lane is a difference maker for that team. Exceptional timing and, and anticipation. That's why he's a top 10 shot blocker. The first one falls for him. A versatile swing man. Kyle Anderson's nickname is Slow Mo for his methodical style of play. Houston making a switch here. Tucker's checked in. Free throw is good from Anderson. Rockets leading by four. Rivers passes to McLemore. Jones against Rivers. Over Jackson. No good off the back of the rim. Memphis has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Rebounded by Tucker. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. The Rockets shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Austin Rivers, the son of a famed player and basketball coach Doc, making an impact in his league with his overall play. 
And the Grizzlies making a change here. Plumley he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Crowder comes in for Jackson. Andre Iguodala is checked in for Josh Jackson. And Allen subbed in for Tyus Jones. Good on the second free throw. The Grizzlies trail by five. Iguodala kicks to Allen. Back to Iguodala. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Superior muscle from Iggy on that possession there. Just a stellar job using his girth. And it's Rivers with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. Outside Gordon. The three. Plumley with the rebound. Not a big threat from out there. You see why the defense backed off a little. Anderson against Gordon. It's good. And the Rocket lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Anderson. And that trip played out perfectly for them. Here's Rivers. He can't get it to go. Lumley with some nice D. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. Rockets have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Houston making a switch here. House is checked in. Rabs checked in for the Grizzlies. And he's good on the second. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Allen kicks to Plumlee. On the wing, it's Iguodala. And Memphis turns it over again. And a quick look now at how the Memphis Grizzlies schedule is shaping up. On Wednesday, they'll be playing against Blake Griffin and the Detroit Pistons. Then on Friday, they'll be matching up against Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets. And for that matchup with the Pelicans, there aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches, and this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Rivers has got the ball. Pass to McLemore. To the paint, here's Chandler. Pass to Tucker. Fires for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Plumley in the high post. Kicks it to Anderson. The Grizzlies with another miss. And the whistle blow is going to be on Andre Iguodala. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. The Rockets have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. Shooting two. That's good from Chandler. Yeah, and Chandler, a difference maker defensively. The shot blocking, the controlling of the lane. He also gobbles up those rebounds. Green, he's checked in for Houston. Hill, he's checked in for Memphis. Now here's Iguodala. He's got 11. Allen shot is off. And offensively, they've gotten stuck on the perimeter, falling in love with the jump. And there's the foul. It's going to go on Solomon Hill. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. First one falls for him. Jackson. He's checked in for the Grizzlies. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Iguodala outside. Here's Anderson. Jackson. He can't hit that time. 
And it's Houston the other way. Stolen by Anderson. Three on three. Jackson has the open look. The baseline jumper goes down. Jackson's got 11 points. His temperature is rising. I mean, it is rising. Hey, Bill, thanks for coming by. Fantastic stuff as usual. We really appreciate your time. I uh, appreciate being on Go Celtics. <laughs> you can't root on these. I, I'm absolutely rooting. <laughs> That's my team. And Smitty, so great to have Bill with us, a guy who's ahead of the curve creatively. Kevin, he was a pioneer in blogging, Emmy nominated for his work on documentaries. The guy never stops thinking of new ways to produce content. And P.J. Tucker, Greg, a rugged physical defender at the forward. And here's the guy, second round pick back in 06, spent five seasons playing abroad before making his return to the association. Now he's a seasoned veteran and not shy about holding his teammates accountable, especially defensively. And so he makes both from the line. And so Allen will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Trailing here by eight. Outside Jackson. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Ben McLemore. That's his first foul. Fifty-five seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Allen finds Jackson. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. His marksmanship this quarter has been unbelievable, yet they still trail in this game. And Austin Rivers out of Duke an elusive 6-4 combo guard. I mean, a great handle, and, and he's found most of his offensive success with his development as a long-range shooter. It's gotten to the point now where you want him to put it on the deck. He makes one of two that time. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Now here's Plumley. Allen surveying the D. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Clearly a foul. It's his first trip to the line. Free throw missing. And he sinks the second. 24 seconds left in the first half of the game. Rivers with seven points in the game. 12 seconds left in the first half. Just four to shoot. Stolen by Anderson. Allen for three. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Houston with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Tyson. Looks like two different teams after the loss. What's the difference? Well, we just can't allow them to stay around close. You know, not, last night we had a letdown. Tonight we got to do a better job of getting down, staying on ground, playing defense, and taking advantage of this game. Tyson, thanks a lot for your time. See you in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And now the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, hoop fans. NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. EJ, Shaq, Jet. James Harden led the way in the first half. He ended up with 17 points, two assists, and two rebounds. The first two quarters went very well for him. Kenny, what do you think about the Rockets? Well, they've gotten to the line tonight a lot basically they're saying I'm going to take it to you and the only way you can stop me is to foul me 
But here's the thing. If you're afraid to sacrifice your body, you'll never pick up a lot of free throws. So great job in the first half. Shaq, your take on Memphis. They played some solid team basketball, Ernie. Pretty good. They were sharing the ball. We saw some nice feeds, a lot of movement. It wasn't five individuals out there. It was one cohesive unit, and they got the assist to show for it. Their rhythm was nice. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. And let's see what the defense counters with to try and control him here in the second half. Well, you like to run more doubles at him, but the risk there is opens up things for everybody else. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Tipping off the second half, here's J.B. Bickerstaff's five. They've got Jackson. Iguodala out there with Jones. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas, and it's Jackson and at the small forward position. And you know Westbrook has an outstanding vertical. And once he gets to the launching pad, rim, beware. Now here's Jackson. Here's Iguodala. That one's not going to go. Harden with the defensive effort. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And the dunk by Capella. Love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his teammates. And that Unleash Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover had it, giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Still doing his part, but it hasn't been enough. They need some kind of spark. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Alan Junis against Capella. Here's Tucker. Great D that time from Higudala. To the inside, Valanciunas. And yes, it's good. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Well, Smitty, we saw with Jonas Valanciunas, the Lithuanian big man, shooting more threes last season. Valanciunas saw all the other centers in this league add a three-pointer and won it in on the action as well. Only took about one a game, but he shot over 40%. One shot. guys are leaders from day one but there are some guys it takes a while Steve to grow into that role and I'm sure you've seen him yeah I, I love Victor Oladipo I think he took on that role also Kyle Lowry's done a nice job uh, Al Horford is becoming more of a vocal leader he's kind of a quiet leader a lot of those guys you can see their personalities just changed from when they started into this league and year by year they've gotten better that's good the Houston lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Jackson a solid beginning to this second half offensively. Three for four from the floor. Top of the key. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. 12 points for Russell Westbrook. Mr. Dependable tonight. Helping them grow this lead. Jones against Westbrook. To the inside. With the fadeaway. No good from Valanciunas. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Pulls up from the corner. Misses off the left iron. Unfortunately for him, the defense is slow to react, but he couldn't make them pay. Oh, the lob to Valanciunas. Outside, Green. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes play. Six on the shot clock, and finished off by Westbrook. 
and folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of flair. Uh -huh, he sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. The fans really get their money's worth when they get to see him make plays like that. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And Russell West, he is a standard bearer for the Jordan brand with his own signature shoe, Greg. Few players have ever been as competitive as Michael Jordan, but you think Westbrook may be in that conversation? No doubt about it. The similarities don't end there. The, the surreal athleticism, the, the will to dominate, and that fight, finding grudges to motivate them to their highest level. I, I think there's a kinship in how MJ and Russ approach the game. And Clint Capella is going to pick up a foul. That's his third foul of the game. Jackson passes to Valanciunas. That one, no good. Good work defensively by Capella. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Rockets leading by seven. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. And if you're wondering where the points are coming from here tonight, here's a breakdown in the scoring between the front court and back court tonight for Houston. And it's been guard play, which really has shouldered the burden offensively here. They'd like a bit more production from the front court, but in the meantime, this back court has kept them in the game. Now Jones. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Jackson kicks to Brooks to end the run. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got his third assist on the night. And there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That's his fifth foul. Yeah, and that's number five. One more, and he is going to be done for the day. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Houston. And Memphis also making a switch. Allen's checked in for Brooks. And it's Gordon missing. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Jackson, that's good. Yeah, one of the few bright spots for his team. I mean, he's had a very efficient offensive performance. Overall, it hasn't been pretty for his team, but he has shot the ball well. Now here's Gordon. He has five. Back to Harden. Six to shoot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And James Harden, last season's MVP, the runner-up in 2015, actually won the players' vote for MVP that season. But last season, he took home the official hardware. And the first one drops. And with James Harden winning the MVP in 2018, Russell Westbrook in 2017, Kevin Durant in 2014, uh, you think a few what-ifs right now in Oklahoma City? <laughs> a few more than that, Kevin. I mean, probably tough for them all to win MVP playing on one team. A, a good shot at a different trophy, though, maybe. The one that starts with the name of Larry. And the basket is good. Jones has got his second basket of the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And here's Gordon. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Westbrook against Jones. It's stolen by Jones. To the paint. Here's Jackson. And Jackson throws it down hard. Jackson, there, there was no finesse on that one. Superb athlete who likes to punish the rim. Here's Westbrook. 
From the top of the key, he buries it. Westbrook's got 11 points here in just the second half. Allen finds Jackson. On the wing, Jackson. Off target from three-point range. Still no rhythm. This may be a time when you want to make the extra pass. Give someone else a chance. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Grizzlies. Outside, Jones. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Jones has got six points. Pockets leading by four. Deflects the pass. And the shot goes down. Soft interior defense. You know he's going to be aggressive. For Memphis, they've gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Jackson passes to Jackson. To the middle. Here's Jones. And he makes good on the layup. He's got eight. Just impress with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Westbrook against Jones. It's Westbrook with the drive. Good for his ninth make in just 12 shots. That's an even 75% shooting. Extended the league. This has been a great peer for him offensively. Timeout called the Grizzlies. Smitty, you look at how teams run their offensive sets. Are we in a pick-and-roll era right now, or has the tide shifted away from that a little? No, I think so. I think we're looking at uh, a lot of teams running pick-and-roll, especially we have two fantastic players involved. It's hard to defend, especially when it's a great talent at the guard spot and a big. Then it's hard for you to switch. What I'm looking at right now, because of spacing, because of the use of the corner three, we're looking at a lot more pick and rolls used at the top of the key versus when I played. We used a lot of side pick and rolls. And not just smalls given to bigs, but bigs throwing down low to smalls. Yeah, and a lot of these bigs are running the pick and rolls, and the guards are setting the picks. Right. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And finished off by Westbrook. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Brooks kicks to Plumley. On the wing, a good hour. Oh, and there's the alley oop. And it's slammed in by Plumley. Iggy just keeping his head up on a swivel all the time. Houston leading by four. Rivers finds Chandler. And here is Capella. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that. Cabela's got 10. And for Memphis, their shooting has been just great so far, up at 56%. Iguodala, the pass to Valanciunas. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Houston. On Thursday, they'll take on Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And then on Saturday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. And for that game against the Nuggets... I think it's going to be an interesting challenge. Even though they expect to come out on top, this could probably be a pick em game, depending on how they play. Now, here's Westbrook. 23 points in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Rivers. Rockets working now with the first shot clock. Chandler's shot, good. And, and they continue to control the glass. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Now here's Anderson. Ten points for him. In the corner, Iguodala with it. Brooks outside. No good with the triple. Rockets leading by eight. Gordon outside. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Brooks. And the shot is long. Houston's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Gordon dishes to Chandler. And good that time. And now a 10-point rocket lead. No one rotating over to help on the mismatch. Easy lay-in. Anderson outside. And there's the pass to Plumlee. Here's Iguodala. 
And it's Rivers with the rebound. The Rockets shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. From past the arc, they grab their own miss. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Valanciunas. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. McLemore's checked in for Russell Westbrook. The Grizzlies also making a change. Crowder's checked in. And the six foot eleven Clint Capella, just a phenomenal athlete. The mobility at that center spot is something really so crucial in today's game, where every team is looking to expose big men on the perimeter. Now here's Anderson. He's got ten. Capella trying to free himself up, and there's Green on the assist by Rivers. Rivers has got three assists tonight. The Grizzlies trail by 12. Brooks kicks to Iguodala. Back to Brooks. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. They kick it out to Green. 143 left in the third quarter. And Houston again with the bucket. And each bucket at this point feels like a backbreaker. Showing no mercy. Double-digit lead and still putting it on him. Shots good by Iguodala. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. We've got 118 left to play in the third. Green finds Rivers. Back to Green. From deep, McLemore. It's rebounded by Memphis. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Yep, it counts. Anderson's got 12 points in the game. A high percentage look for Kyle. Has the size and length to be a factor inside. Rivers with it. He's picked up by Brooks. Rivers kicks to McLemore. No good on the three. Trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but thus far, not working. You know what? At some point, you have to decide. Do you keep pressing the issue, or do you focus on setting up others? We've got 28 seconds left in the third. Outside, green. Like at six. The three. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got six rebounds here tonight. It's Anderson with the drive. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. What we've seen with Kyle Anderson, he's a below average athlete, but has great timing on his drives. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. One shot. One misses. Inside. And he uses the glass on the way. Westbrook's got 17 now, just in the second half. It's fine to extend your defense to try and create turnovers, but, but guys have to help each other. That's been a problem for them all game. Teamwork is something you just can't turn on and off. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for Houston. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebounding. We'll return shortly. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. Ten point lead. We've got Harden. 
E.J. Tucker is out there with Gerald Green. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Edwards in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five for Houston right now. Just active defensively here, being extremely disruptive. You know, I love the effort just to get a hand in there. He is disrupting the offensive flow. And the Rockets with possession here. Capella, the pass to Tucker. And some nice passing there by Houston. Five to shoot. Green finds Tucker. Stolen by Anderson. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. Way to convert through contact, Kyle, with excellent body control. It's Westbrook with the drive. Got a piece of it. That's one of his shots in his arsenal, but it was terrific rim protection. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. And the jam by Harden. And it's another James Harden special we're witnessing here tonight. I think this fella's got some game. Jones against Westbrook. Jackson dishes to Jackson. It's rebounded by Houston. Cabela's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And Kyle Anderson gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. And there it is on a night when he's been so efficient handling the basketball. That's his first real mistake. Stolen by Harden. And the foul called on Tyus Jones. That's his third foul of the game. Rockets leading by 10. Harden outside. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Yeah, just constantly attacking the paint. Harden does not settle. And Anderson kicks to Jackson. Outside, Jones launches it. No good that time. And Houston the other way. And Kyle Anderson gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. For Houston, they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Westbrook against Jones. Capella inside. And Jackson with the block. And he gets it back. Six to shoot. Here's Harden. And at last, they get one to fall. Harden's got the lead up to 14 now for the Rockets. Jones, the pass to Jackson. Back to Jones. It's good, the assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists now in this one. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Harden with it. Over Brooks. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. And that's now 27 points for James Harden. Now here's Anderson. T right on him. There's Jackson with the three. With the tip and the second chance effort by Jackson. Relentless. I mean, Jackson just giving it his all on the backboard. Now a timeout called by Houston. And he could tell Started. his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Mike D'Antoni was talking about with his team. He told them, put your foot on their neck. Take it to them. I want to see you guys slow it down out there. Use the clock and stay away from silly fouls. Let's see if they can execute the plan, guys. All right, thank you, David. And Harden never seen a shot he didn't like. And boy, is he comfortable gunning it from there. Here's Anderson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you watch Kyle Henderson out there. They, they call him slow-mo for how he moves on the court. It, just one of those jack-of-all-trades type of players on offense and wasn't known for his defense, but has put in a lot of work to improve 
in that area. Both free throws good from Anderson. And with Anderson, the defense has been a focus for him the last few seasons. And even though Anderson doesn't get up and down the floor fast, he still has quick hands and feet. Is being asked to guard some of the top forwards in the league for this team and wants players to try and shoot over him so he can use his length. Considers it a win if his assignment takes a jumper and doesn't get around it. Jackson, offensive rebound, another shot. And it's laid up and in by Anderson. Anderson's got 20. He really looks composed shooting the ball this half. Much more consistent, hitting a much higher percentage. Brooks against Harden. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Brooks, and so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. Grizzlies making a switch here. Hill's checked in. That free throw good from Harden. Smitty, looking back in your career, what's the most pressure you've felt in a game? You know, I think the most pressure, you, you love to be in those games. I think that's when you strive. I think the most pressure I ever felt, and it wasn't a playoff game, Kevin, or a championship game. It was that very first game as a rookie hmm. because that game you had nothing to compare to, and it was everything you dreamed about in that first game you were finally saying, for me, I couldn't get it out of my head. This is my first NBA game. So I think that was the most pressure game I've ever played in. Jackson misses. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Shot by Gordon, wide open. No good from outside. And that's rough. He did have three in the first half, but hasn't had one since. It took him no time at all on that one. And it's eight points for Josh Jackson. And Jackson sinks these shots with consistency. Even when the D is there, he has an innate ability to keep that focus on the basket. Count it. And that's now 27 points for Russell Westbrook. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And it's good. Two points. Really smoking the nets now after a difficult time shooting in the first half. It's stolen by Jones. 17-foot shot on the way. Jackson can't get that one to fall. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Rockets. Pretty early to be over the limit. That foul situation is something we want to keep an eye on. And James Harden was crowned MVP after last season. Uh, Greg, hard to argue with that selection. Uh, Harden has had a case to win an MVP award for several years now. Finally was able to be the clear choice this past season. Another great line on what is shaping up to be a hall-worthy resume. And the first one at the line is good. NBA wants to keep things competitive. And uh, one way to do that was to make some changes, Steve, to the draft lottery odds. Uh, do you think it'll be enough? You know, I, I think it's the right call for them. I think the bottom three teams all have the same odds for the top three spots now. And it will be much more even to distribute the odds for the back half of the lottery. And the whistle blow is going to be on Andre Iguodala. That will get him his fourth foul of the game, and due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. Oh, oh no, he's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. He hits the second from the line. Yeah, love the attitude he's playing with here in the second half, going strong to the hoop and getting to the free throw line. Jones with it. Westbrook picks him up. Jackson. That one wide left. And this is one of those times where the coach has got to preach. Be unselfish. And we don't know that he hasn't. Maybe it's been falling on deaf ears. Guys taking ill-advised jump shots. And that's the only thing that's going to get them back into this game. If there's still even a chance. 
Westbrook against Jones. Shot from 12. And that one, good. 29 points for Russell Westbrook. And Westbrook is a terror from the mid-range. Terrific at sticking it to the defense from that spot on the floor. Jones kicks to Iguodala. Back to Jones. No good on the triple. Houston leading by 17 to the paint. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. good from Tucker well you know this franchise they preach fundamentals the Grizzlies led the league in personal fouls last season just another example of where things went wrong Houston making a switch here. Green's checked in Plumley he's checked in for Memphis he doesn't get the second one well, I'm thinking about the Grizzlies, Smitty. It's, it's going to be a challenge rebuilding this roster. Yeah, cap space has been a challenge for the Grizzlies. Drafting well has been a challenge also. And, of course, you have the coaching carousel. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. And the Rockets making a change here. Capella's checked in. The Grizzlies also making a change. Jackson, he's checked in for Miles Plumley. So here is Houston. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. And it's Westbrook missing. He's hit a rough patch this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it, though. Here's Anderson. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Westbrook against Jones. Westbrook finds Harden. target with his three the Grizzlies trail by 16 Jones that's for two pulled the shot a little left but the bounce goes his way Jones has got four this quarter it's really been a tale of two halves guys a slow start but this quarter he has really been the man tries from 10 and Jackson with the block and now in transition here we go Iguodala some nice passing there by Memphis he dishes it to Jackson. Shoots over Tucker. And there's Jackson on the assist by Iguodala. Iguodala has got three assists in the game. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They led by as many as 18 points. Lob pass to Capella. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Westbrook against Jones. Here's Igudala. The shot comes out. Harden with the defensive effort. Rockets leading by 14. That free throw, no good. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Houston. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Miles Plumley comes in for Jackson. And Jake Crowder's subbed in for Andre Igudala. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Josh Jackson, the fourth pick in that 2017 draft out of Kansas. A, a hyper-athletic 6'8", and he's got the handles, I think, to become a terrific slasher in the league. They aren't making anything at the line today. This is a team that struggles at the line. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Tyson Chandler. And Memphis also making a switch. Jackson, he's checked in for Jay Crowder. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And Jackson plays with a great motor. He's got some grit in his game. I mean, he's a competitor. I mean, plays with that chip on both shoulders. But, but give me a, a guy who cares. As a coach, better to have guys you need to rein in rather than those you, you have to kind of force to be aggressive. 
And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, James Harden. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. This was a big game for him. There's no denying that. Coming off a bunch of losses in a row, they turned to him to break the streak, and he delivered in a big way. The Grizzlies trail by 16. Jones drives in. A beautiful reverse layup. Jones has got 12 points in just the second half. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Here's Westbrook. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And that's 31 points for Russell Westbrook. He's in control when it matters, giving them a tremendous advantage right here. Here's Jones. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around it. Harden the pass to Westbrook. And Josh Jackson picks up the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. And that one falls for Westbrook. Both free throws good from Westbrook. The Grizzlies trail by 16. Poked away. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. That's what happens when nothing goes your way. You start to lose focus, and it makes matters worse. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. He kicks it to Capella. 149 left in the fourth quarter. Six on the shot clock. Got a piece of it. It's good again in an excellent seventh rate shooting night so far. Full speed ahead. I mean, they have been in control since the opening tip, and that may have sealed the deal. Yes, and you're watching. Even this late in the game, they're still making plays. You got to love watching it. Houston leading by 16. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for Houston. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just didn't seem to let up, whether the last several shots went down or not. Three after three, it just seemed to pay off for them. And so looking at their number, this will be win number 22 on the year. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far. They've won two straight. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for James Harden. You know, coming into tonight, hard to say if his intention was to take over the way he did, but as the game evolved, it became clear that he was the alpha dog on the offensive end. Well, we've seen the growth of the G League, especially in how much it's been utilized for player development. A lot of guys going up to the NBA level. Steve, how do you think we'll see this evolve over the next 10 years? I think the G League and its partnership with the NBA and teams has been fantastic. Uh, it's kind of uh, similar to baseball right now in the minor leagues, and the teams have done a great job of having the flexibility to bring guys up and down. I love it for a lot of these young guys to get a chance to develop and also be a part of, I would say, the big team. Excellent point. And they've earned this one, showing an ability to, to dominate in front of their home crowd. You know, you feel on top of the world when it happens as a player, just the relationship you have with the fans. They are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. The kick out to Westbrook. Over Jones. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Outside Jackson. 
over Edwards. The Grizzlies with another miss. Here's McLemore. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, James. Congrats on the win. Great crowd tonight, but what made the difference down the stretch? Uh, we just got to play solid defense. Uh, talk to each other, help each other out. That was amazing tonight. You know, it was unbelievable. Like I said, I'm happy, I'm happy for our guys. And, uh, you know, we got a good victory at home. Big, big win, James. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.